STC Bank launches in beta. STC Bank has announced the launch in beta, as the financial institution received formal approval from the SAMA in order to continue its development journey. SC Ventures partners with Next 176 for financial wellness platform. SC Ventures, the fintech investment arm of Standard Chartered, has partnered with Next 176, the venture building arm of Old Mutual, to launch an inclusive financial wellness platform. SIP launches new enterprise features. Intake and Procurement Orchestration Platform Zip has announced the launch of additional enterprise features that allow businesses to advance their capabilities. MasterCard to increase credit and debit card fees. U.S. based payment technology corporation MasterCard has planned to increase fees for credit and debit card transactions by nearly US$250 million. Klarna launches Wikipink. AI-powered global payments network Klarna has announced the launch of its Wikipink product, a data hub with information on how UK clients use the company's solutions. Synovus unveils Accelerate TM Pay for diverse business payments. Synovus has launched Accelerate TM Pay allowing commercial banking clients to initiate account payable payments using multiple payment types and reducing reliance on checks. Skipify partners with Visa. US-based fintech company Skipify has announced its collaboration with Visa through the Visa Digital Commerce program, intending to improve how consumers transact. Expedia Group integrates Amadeus NDC technology. Travel technology innovator Amadeus has set to deploy new distribution capability, NDC, technology for global online travel agency Expedia Group. Worldline partners with Tabisto to launch Fox. Worldline has announced its partnership with Tabisto in order to launch Fox, an all-in-one ordering and payment kiosk, and improve customer payment experience. Trustly expands collaboration with Cross River Bank. Open banking payments provider Trustly has announced the expansion of its collaboration with Cross River Bank, aiming to provide instant payments by adding the FedNow service. Sequoia launches iPowered document processing. Fintech startup Sequoia has rolled out i-driven document processing automating 75% of tasks in customer data verification. Ripple to issue USD-backed stablecoin US-based crypto solutions company Ripple has planned to issue a stablecoin, pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar. Zoom allows US users to fund transfers with PYUSD stablecoin. Zoom PayPal, S cross border money transfer service, now allows US users to fund transfers abroad using USD converted from the PayPal USD, PYUSD, stablecoin. David Birch confirmed as EB a day 2024 challenge speaker. Exploring digital money, digital assets, digital identity, and the future of banking. David G. W. Birch has been confirmed as the keynote speaker for one of the most compelling sessions at EB a day every year. EY to triple sustainable finance team in Dublin to accelerate ESG goals. A new innovation hub will be opened in Dublin to support global financial institutions push forward with meeting environmental, social and governance, ESG, regulatory and reporting requirements. Russia targets Apple over banking apps. Russia's antitrust agency has set its sights on Apple, saying that the U.S. firm has removed banking and payments apps from its app store, according to Reuters. Beaks and Securities and Trading Technology, STT, partner. Beaks Group, a pioneer in financial cloud computing and connectivity solutions, and Securities and Trading Technology, STT, 
a leader in trading, clearing, and surveillance technology, are delighted to announce a strategic partnership that is set to reshape the future of exchange trading and clearing services. This collaboration introduces an innovative, service-based solution designed to meet the evolving needs of the global financial markets. SC Ventures and Next 176 partner up to launch financial wealth platform. Standard Chartered's investment ventures arm, SC Ventures has joined force with building an investment arm of Pan-African Financial Services Group Old Mutual, Next 176, to roll out a financial wellness platform. Google sues crypto scammers using Play Store to lure victims. Google is suing two app developers who lured victims into downloading fraudulent investment apps on the Google Play Store. Sa Bank launches services for stablecoin issuers. Sa Bank has launched banking services for stablecoin issuers, in part of their Banking for Web3 Feed initiative. Banca Transylvania launches Salt Bank. Salt Bank has announced its expansion on the Romanian market, aiming to accelerate the digitalization of Banca Transylvania Group's suite of services. Papaya Global partners with Fortress. Papaya Global has announced its partnership with Fortress in order to deliver secure and fast digital asset workforce payments to companies around the world. Network International partners with Suhula. Network International has partnered with fintech Suhula to equip merchants with Buy Now, Pay Later, BNPL, capability on the network PayPass in Egypt. MoneyGram partners with Tencent Financial Technology. Global financial technology company MoneyGram has entered a collaboration with Tencent Financial Technology in a bid to enable digital remittances in China. Teller gets in principal approval from CBUAE. UAE-based online payment gateway Teller has been granted in principal approval for the retail payment services and card schemes license from the Central Bank of UAE, CBUAE. Emphasis and AWS launch General AI Foundry for Financial Services. Emphasis, BSE, 526,299, NSC, MPHASIS, an information technology, IT, solutions provider specializing in cloud and cognitive services, today announced a multi-year global strategic collaboration agreement, SCA, with Amazon Web Services, Oz. AXA and AWS to build B2B risk management platform. A worldwide leader in insurance and asset management, AXA and AWS, Amazon Web Services, an Amazon.com, Inc. company, NASDAQ, AMZN, announced their intention to jointly develop and build AXA Digital Commercial Platform, DCP, and associated software services to enable next-generation risk management. This concludes our current edition of the Bay Pay Forum podcast. Remember that you can read the full text of each article in our news section on baypayforum.com. We hope to see you tomorrow.